I'd like to give a massive shout out to the support from my patrons. If it wasn't for you guys contributing to my work, I wouldn't be able to make these videos. Thank you so much. It's feedback gaming. Welcome back for more Kaiserreich. Hotly requested game is playing as the Sultanate of Egypt. And that is who we are going to be playing as today. But with a twist. So I did a playthrough of this and this focus tree is huge and it is beautiful. Some great icons, some cool bonuses, but unfortunately it's shite. Why? Because it is very heavily railroaded. That is locked behind Black Monday. You have to wait for it to happen, which happens the first few months of the game. This is locked behind the Sultan's... Sorry, no, it's like locked behind the Conference of Cairo and the 1st of May 1937, so it's time locked. And these ones, one, two, three, and 4, are all locked behind the reforms, which happened in 1937. So you have a focus tree. You can't lock because it is railroaded by certain requirements, which, in my honest opinion, makes a shite focus tree. Disagree with me in the comments? I don't care! But unfortunately, that, in my opinion... The lack of flexibility means you are pretty much dictating what people, your neighbors do around you before you can actually do anything. So let's make it a little bit interesting. Focuses auto complete enable. What does this do? So when I select a national focus tree, it will, it will national focus, it will complete instantly. And when I have the ability to go down the national focuses, I can pretty much select all of them unless they have a specific requirement. Now, what does this also mean? This also gives the AI around the world some massive bonuses, huge bonuses. Because you think about it, they can do the same thing as well. And you are going to see some pretty chaotic yet in this game. It's going to be fun. Anyway, guys, if you want some more Paranox DLC, I'm going to offer another competition to you guys to have a chance of winning your choice of Paranox DLC. Which DLC you say? Anyone that you want. So if you win the giveaway, you will be select. You can choose any Paradox DLC that you wish. You can enter the giveaway by clicking on the Gleam link in the description of this video or clicking on the Gleam link at the pinned comment on this video. And of course, if you want more cards, like, like this video and also comment below with anything. Let's play the game, boys. Let's do it. All right. First of all, we are going to work on our industry. And we are going to uh, make a bunch of infantry. I wouldn't usually can make all the divisions into one massive template, but today we're going to do something a little bit differently. Ooh, an extra division down here, one that got away. So you've got like, <clears throat> so you've got this like massive nation. It's, it's freaking huge. Look at the size of it. But it starts off with very little factories, uh, very little resources. Uh, some horrendously bad national spirits. Minus 20% extra search for research. What? Do you speak English, boy? <laughs> yes. You uh, have a penalty of 20% for research. And uh, it is pretty freaking brutal. Anyway, what are we doing? Um, no. I do want planes. But I like close air support. Yes. Finish that one ship. Good. All right, I'm happy with that. Let's go. So I was going to do a min-maxing of uh, the Sultanate of Egypt, um, and I tried it out, and I just wasn't enjoying it. I, I don't like that the, the the focus trees railroaded behind certain things happening around you, or events in the game, or whatnot. Uh, it, it it severely restricts my enjoyment. Now you might have your own preferences, and that's totally cool. Uh, but unfortunately, this is one of the weaker Focus Tree, from my opinion. The Ottoman Focus Tree, though, is very, very, very good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, the uh, Egyptian one, not so much. Not so much. You do have the ability to declare war on your neighbors. You've got the ability to declare war on the Ottomans later, which is part of the Cairo, um, the Cairo Conference. And then later on, depending on what the Abyssinians do, you can declare war on them as well, but it depends on their stance as well. You need to wait for their focus tree to be able to go attack them, which is slightly annoying. 
I also want to go for paternal autocrats too, so that way we can fabricate manually on neighbor nations. What's the goal of this campaign? I don't know. Defeat our rival, the Ottomans, and form some kind of, I don't know, unified Egyptian absolute monarchy. What does that sound, boys? Does that sound good? All right, so this first part of the game, we do sweet FA. Oh, and Germany has declared on the United States. That's interesting. So that tells me... Ah, Black Monday. So that tells me something in the national focus tree of Germany, there is a way to declare war on the United States. Does that go without saying? Maybe. Ah, Black Monday. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. So we got rid of Black Monday. Now this one is also locked behind the reforms as well. Uh, so what does this do? Political power, extra factory, extra factory. Removes Black Monday. Gives a 50% boost in political power. Extra stability, extra stability. The only thing Egypt has going for it is it is a very large nation. So one, it has lots of building slots. Look at all these building slots. And two, it has a decent population. I'm on uh, volunteer only right now. We have 178,000 manpower in the pool, which is very, very good. Very, very good. Oh, do we have options to go for some other focus? No. Oh, that appeared on screen, then it disappeared. Okay. First thing we're going to do with our political palo is we are going to go for mobilization. One thing to note, too, is because I've unlocked um, instant national focuses, you will see some pro early wars. And... And this... Uh, you will see some early wars and more than likely some early game lag. But this hopefully won't be a series that goes on for too long. If we unify, like, Middle East under... The Sultanate of Egypt, a beautiful monarchy. That'd be awesome. Because I think about it, at like the Egyptian peak, they would have controlled all the Levant, wouldn't they? Maybe parts of Anatolia too. But it's it's slightly fan fiction anyway, because we're gonna be conquering more lands than that anywho. Anywho. Alright, so yet again, our focus tree right now, just to show how restricted it is, we cannot select anything. That's right, nothing. Nothing can be selected. With a 15% penalty for research. Nice. So, the illiteracy issue is one of those ones that take a while to get rid of. You can't get rid of it through national focus. You unlock a national focus, which is one of the reforms. I'm not sure which one. Ed education reform, I think. And then you get a national focus that you spend political power on, and then it gradually gets rid of the illiteracy. So it takes a, a wee while, though. Oh! oh! I thought for a second that India, sorry, Dominion of India had taken out all of Afghanistan. You never you never see the AI do that. They always go for the event choice. So we are currently three months into Kaiser, right? And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wars. Seven wars. Maybe, maybe in a way, maybe in a very weird, twisted way, this actually might speed the game up. Because you think about it, there's going to be less nations overall. Oh, but no, then the, no, no, because you think about it, they'll end up releasing the nations, so it won't make any difference anyway. Yeah, okay, I retract that statement. So when are these reforms going to happen? I'm not certain. We're going to wait. <coughs> Sardinia is gone. It's now part of the Commune of France. France is now at war with the French Republic. And all the Entente. Britain is at war with the Entente. They've unified their faction pretty much. Germany, on the other hand, doesn't declare war on anyone apart from the United States. That is really interesting. That kind of tells you how the focus tree is for Germany. It's more about like preserving what you have than expanding. Oh, and they're at war with Liberia too. Philippines has been capitulated. Were they a puppet of USA? Yeah, they were. The death of the Sultan. Prince Adbluk ascends the throne of the Sultan of Egypt. Does that mean we could do reforms now? Yes, we can. There we go. Gain stability, war support. And now we gain a crap ton of other bonuses. So, this is kind of cool because we can tailor our nation within pretty much a few days. So, administrative reforms. We are going to go for the paternal autocrat. Judicial reforms. We are going to go for government oversight. Bureaucratic reforms. 
appointed ministers. Legal, eternal law, crowd, land reforms. This. Oh, and I clicked. Never mind. I think we went for the paternal law crowd, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Did we? Clicked it so quickly, guys. Clicked it so quickly. It's uh, usually like Crusader Kings 2, isn't it? You, they, they appear grey when they first pop up, so you can't click them by accident. And, uh, in Holy Four, unfortunately, you can. Never mind. It's the event that links into agrarian economy. And you, no, it doesn't actually. It links into nationalised land. And I went for the one in between, which gains stability and extra political power. Whatever. Strength of the monarchy, yes. Education reform, Islamic identity, yeah, sure. Religious, Islamic again. Tax reform, we're going to go with the progressive tax for paternal autocrats. Oh. Why would the paternal autocrat go for a, a progressive tax? Interesting. I, I never really thought of that. Comment below, boys. Focus on the uh, programs of Egyptian Arabic or revival of the Coptic language. For the vast majority of the population literate was nearly 80% literacy rate. Blah, 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 blah. There's one part of me that says, let's just see what happens. <laughs> A new Egypt. Yay. We can go for absolute monarchy now. Oh, so maybe I need to do that to go for absolute monarchy, which actually is the right choice I wanted to go for anyway. And now we've gone for Paul, full blown paternal autocrat. So maybe this guy is Coptic. Maybe that's the reason why. And boom, 45% paternal or crap. We are an absolute monarchy, even though it says Sultanate of Egypt. I wish it would change the name, that'd be cool. Maybe it will, but maybe it takes a little bit of time. Anyway, so we go for S industry time. Get rid of some agrarian economy debuffs, extra civvies, civvies, infrastructure, military factory, Hollywood on the Nile. Egyptian films, local power, electronics, German investments, dockyard, steel, civvy, reduce agrarian reforms again, oil, naval dockyard, electronics. Okay, it doesn't actually matter which one I selected because they're not optional. We can do it for all of them. Civvies, more oil, industry, civvies, infrastructure, air bases, search slot, air bases. Chromium and tungsten, interesting. And then finally, removed developing economy, which is... All right, wait a few days now, because we're not going to do all the national focuses back to back, because that'll get pretty boring. Um, we'll go for mechanize. We've got the extra research lot too. Um, we said we're going to go for cast, didn't we? So we are going to do that. And we've got a lot of political power now, so we can spend it. <clears throat> so, if you're wondering why I sound a bit croaky, it's because I'm ill. And that's the reason why I'm doing a series where it doesn't require a lot of brain power. I do have a really cool series where I play as Afghanistan and form the Persian Empire in Vanilla Hoi 4. It is coming. I need to practice it some more, and I'll I'll do it when I feel better. But right now, I'm just banging out an, an easier series. Just something that fills a gap before 2019. All right, great. Even though we've fu fu finished our national focuses, even though we've completed our national focuses for industry, we still only have 16 civvies. It's crazy. Or 16 civvies that we're accessible to, what we can get. All right, what do we got going on here? So, the minute with our political power, what's to spend it on one of our advisors? What paternal lot of crap we got? Consumer goods, uh, supply consumption, political power. Political power feels like a good one. Yeah, they're all social conservatives. Interesting. We've become an absolute monarchy, but yet all of our ministers are Democrats. Interesting. Oh god, and we've gone we've down the whole industry tree, and we only have four military factories. How terrible is that? These are fighters, yeah. If we're a paternal autocrat, does that mean we can fabricate 25%? That's the beauty of paternal autocrat, guys. Okay, I'm going to openly admit right now, I didn't actually know what paternal autocrat actually means. I thought it was a, a, a partial autocrat, like a 
someone who ruled a nation absolutely but had like restrictions due to maybe a council or like an, an administrative branch or something like that i didn't understand the paternal meant father you guys are gonna give me shit in the chat for that in the comments aren't you i can feel it you guys i feel the anger in your guys comment section and be like oh dave that's so that's so obvious yep i never i never connected the dots <coughs> how good is monthly population how good is that i don't know Anywho, it's time to do more focuses. War support. So we've got options of the Grand Battle Plan, which give extra planning bone, max planning. That's really good. And then more max planning, an extra 10%. These middle ones we can do anyway, which gives extra attack into desert, which is kind of cool. Uh, this one gives extra recruitable, a new Egyptian army removes inexperienced military. Which is terrible. Look at that, boys. Basically, 10% reduction in attack and defense across the board. Less org and planning speed. Planning speed is okay, and the org's not too bad either, but the 10% attack is very bad. This gives extra 10% attack for horses. This gives an extra 15% attack for horses in the desert. You know what? I'm feeling the horse. Oh, hang on. What? What just... Did I just unlock and... Oh my god, guys. I clicked through that so quickly. Was that where I unlocked? Was it this template? I don't know. Okay. Um... <clears throat> enables... Oh, I know what it was. I know what it was. It was this. Enables Royal Car uh, Camel Corps. Motorized and mechanized models. Armor tech. Fast as the desert wind. What the? Holy crap, this makes horses really strong. Infantry bonus. More attack into desert for all legged infantry. Oh, only for legged infantry, okay. Uh, support, and that one. Good, perfect. Naval reforms, aviation reforms. Maybe we'll come back to those. All right. What's going on around the world, boys? We're down to six wars now. Was New Zealand broken free? That was the first war I was about to expect, the New Zealand war. Oh, what is the chaos that's going on in China? What is... Th that is pretty much chaos. All right. Can we sort out our dudes? Do we have another dude that we can select? Oh, this guy's okay. So we're gonna go with the uh, the horses, aren't we? So let's do it. This is the horse, and we're gonna go for. Oh, I know what we can do. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Oh boy, this is what we're gonna do. We need reconnaissance too. I've just had a really good thought. What we can do? This is gonna be so sweet. The Minister of Knowledge appointment. Appoint the Islamist or appoint the Aronicist. I wonder if this is going to have some kind of coup. Oh, I wonder if I should have gone with the top one. Because that would have resulted in moving towards a more legacy Egypt. I wonder if that would have caused me to like flip to a different country, maybe. Hmm. Alright, what have we got? Build one here? Good. This war between the uh, Ethiopians and Somalians hasn't really gone very far. New officers for Egypt becomes a general. Ooh. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Wow, these guys are pretty good. Is this... Oh my god, he's a panzer leader. I went for this guy because he was an infantry expert. I realized but we're losing horses, aren't we? So it's not going to be relevant. So this guy, this guy's perfect. Oh, but he's a desert fox. Extra 10% extra attack. Now this guy's the best one. 
Okay, serious question. Does Panzer Leader give you a bonus for self-propelled artillery? That is the question I'm going to ask. I don't actually know. Don't know. But he's got five attacks, so I can't say no to him. He's uh, He's got way too much attack. We need support equipment. Boom. We need way more military factories. We need to... We need to punch them out as quick as we can. Okay, naval reforms. Do I need to pay much attention to this? Defend the coast. Yeah, we'll defend the coast. I don't care. Yeah, a lot of those bonuses are just generic bonuses. They don't give anything special. Oh, that would give two military factories. That's actually pretty good. Battlefield support doctrine or mass destruction. No, we're going to go for battle support. Um, airborne air bases. Anti-air. Oh, we get free. AA. Hmm. Okay, that's, that's actually kind of a nice bonus. I thought these were all crap, but they're not. Perfect. Okay. All right, brilliant. Go for dockyards. All right. You know what I'm going to do? Dispersed. Just because I'm going to mix things up a little bit. What do we have a lot of? So right now, wow, we're behind on everything. No, there's nothing we are ahead of right now. Got a few fighters, but we're working on the close air support. Guys, we're July 1936 right now, and the lag is very intense. I'm kind of hoping we go for the... Uh... So, it looks like... What? So the Saudis defeated the... These guys in the north. But now they've got another issue. Oh, they're going to win anyway. Yeah, this is a new one. Yeah, so the event between Germany and the communes for the war, the Second World Krieg, that seems to be locked behind an event. Didn't move our capital. Oh, I know what's happening here. These are all events to restore the legacy of the old Egyptian sultanate, aren't they? Support women's suffrage or don't. I'm going to go with don't because it gives extra stability. Uh, the capital of Egypt we'll go with... Let's go Alexandria. It'd be cool if capital cities actually had some kind of impact on the game itself. Like, for instance, if the capital had more building slots or something, or... Oh, the game's paused. What just happened? I really would like to see these guys win. That'd be really funny. The new University of Alexandria has opened up. One stability. One stability. The theatre construction boom. Egyptian revival. Alright, we're going to improve with the... So this is what I was talking about earlier. We can improve literacy. It takes a very long time to get rid of. 200 days. I think it's 400 days in total. Because you have to run it twice to completely get rid of the illiteracy. Which kind of... I like the fact that it's there. Because that means it makes more sense in the real world. I mean, literacy doesn't take, just instantly disappear, does it? It's something that has to gradually get rid of. Um, I think we're going to keep the dispersed guys. Because I want to bonus through those as quick as we can. What did we say we wanted to do? Oh, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to go tank, my boy. One thing we could do, too. Who have we got good relations with? Germany, maybe? If we accept that, we'll get... We half the time on the Mark V. That's nice. Definitely worth one city. The Grand Inam of Al Jazar University. new grand inam must be chosen the two leading antennas are naturally divided between oh, okay all right we got, we'll side with the the old ways of the pharaohs 
not what we're going with, I guess so. Still got like crap tons of political power. Really crap tons of political power. Alright, we have to exercise these guys. Good music. Begin singing for Radio Cairo. Cool. How many resources have we got? We, we're a little bit better off on resources than we would be in the base game due to all the national focus stuff. Still having a really hard time with steel. Um, if you were playing the game and you weren't kind of like using the national focus glitch that I'm doing right now, I would go for free trade. Oh my god, they're all generic. What the hell? So we've gotten that because we're cooperating with Germany. And that's actually really good too. I feel like that's something we should do. Oh, there's no artillery guys. That's really sad. Uh, sorry, no many tank guys. Mm. Alright, we'll go for that. Oh my god, this war is going on forever. Who will be the victor? Every nation you go on now that has a focus tree, you should see like crap tons of national spirits. Because remember, they blitz through their national focus trees. It'd be kind of cool. Who would like me to play as Mongolia and do the same thing what I've done in this game? That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Because the Mongolian focus tree's got really awesome stuff in it. Okay, who do we honor? Finally complete, allowing Jim to unparalleled control of the Nile. The only the only question is that remains who is the honor? Should we honor the who is the first advised dam of the days of the Caliphate? Should we name our honor the the guest? Oh my god. Ooh, we'll honor the guest. Oh my god, we're really mixing this up, boys. Like we we don't even decide who we are. What are we anymore? Okay, that's it. That's all the bonuses we've got. Oh my god, we need... Oh, actually, we're not doing too bad that way. With, uh... With production anymore. That's good. Can we go for the next one? Are you going to give us the next one? Come on, Germany. I love you, my dude. Oh my god, he so doesn't want to do that. Opinion minus 10% tech difference at 120. Oh, it's so sad that it's so easy to do in multiplayer, but in an AI game, it's like the AI is just like, nope. <laughs> no. I don't think so, dude. Nope. Okay. Ooh, cheaper guns, 2%. You know why, why not? We're going to replace all the cabinet with paternal autocrats. What is this guy? He gives extra political power and trade. Yeah, we'll go for extra. Hologetic clerk. But the only guy who isn't a paternal autocrat is the head of state. I'm scared of changing any of these now because I feel like there's going to be an event that's going to shuffle them all. It's going to be a complete waste of money, so I'm not going to do that anymore. Oh, hang on a second, I'm still making these. I real I forget there was a queue of six different destroyers. I'm not bothered now. This'll do for now. Alright, so the Cairo thing I'm gonna do doesn't fire for a while. Yeah, I think it fires in the mid nineteen thirty seven, I think. Yeah, May nineteen thirty seven. So we've still got a little while before that actually happens. This Qing versus the Warlord war is going on for a while. Mongolia looks like they're dominating. Okay, close air support is all good. So there's quite a few bonuses that we could go for. I'm trying to think watch one. Watch one? Watch what? I go first. We have to go radio because we need that reinforce rate. 
What do we have here? The Union of Britain is landed into the National France. That French, French Empire. I wonder because there's lack of time for the Entente to prepare for the big war. I might explain. Oh no, it's because the Union is really strong and they're only fighting the Entente. But normally they'd be fighting the, the Germans as well. That's probably the reason why they're doing so well. Alright, boys. If you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe. Click on the bell icon and ring a ding down that bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, look. Sweden's declared war on Norway. Wow. Alright, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.